Hey there, Bruins fans! Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. The Boston Bruins have re-signed forward Danton Heinen to a two-year contract, making $2.8 million each season. Now, much like my Peter Solari video, I wanted to take the time to go over the stats for Danton Heinen. In his first season with the Bruins, he played 77 games, scoring 16 goals, 31 assists, for a total of 47 points. In his second season, last season, he played the same amount of games, 77, but only scored 11 goals, 23 assists, for a total of 34 points. So overall, in 162 NHL games, he has 81 points. Last season in the playoffs, Heinen had two goals, six assists, and 24 playoff games. Overall, in his career in the playoffs, he's played 33 games, scoring three goals and six assists. Now, I know that some of you might not think that Heinen's worth this amount of money. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's really not that bad. First things first, if you're hoping he gets traded, that could still happen. This is a very movable contract. It's not like David Backus, where you have an old player making too much money. This is still a 24-year-old forward who puts up pretty solid stats for $2.8 million. So you could totally move that to a team if you needed to, but I think he's part of the Bruins plan. They love to develop guys into roster players, and they did that here with this player. They're paying him a little bit more. I think they're basing it off of his first season stats, hoping that he can get there again. He was up and down a lot in the lineup last year. That's part of the reason why it's worth it to keep him. He's one of those guys who you can plug in on the first, second, or third line, and he'll usually do okay. But that's really hard for him in only his second season to put up the same amount of stats with all that movement. So I think that the Bruins really want to keep him here, and at $2.8 million, it's really not that much money. Speaking of money, the Bruins don't have a lot of it. They still need to sign McAvoy and Carlo, and they now have a little over $7 million. But don't worry, this means that a trade is on the way, whether it's including Heinen or not, maybe Backus, Miller, Nordstrom, we talked about some of those players in my last trade rumor video, but there is going to be a move. Sweeney wouldn't have signed this contract if he didn't have something in the works because you need at least 10 million to sign the two of these players. I'm not sure, maybe they'll do bridge deals for less, but I would really hope that they sign them both long-term and you're gonna need money to do that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a trade any day now. Overall, I don't think this is a bad contract for the Bruins. I realize that Heinen can be a little weak on the puck at times and not as great as we had hoped at times, but I think if he can get back to the points he put up in his rookie season, this will be a deal. He had a lot of movement last season, and if he can stay on the second or third line and get a little more power play time, I think that would really help him out. Maybe he gets dealt. Who really knows? For those of you who are afraid about McAvoy and Carlo, I would not worry about it. Sweeney is really good at signing contracts with players he already has, guys like David Pasternak, that was an absolute deal, and that took almost all the way up to training camp. So do not worry, it's gonna get done. These are core pieces for the Bruins, and he's not just gonna let them go. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on the Heinen contract down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe.